I'm Jenny, and I work seasonally at a little place called Good Hope Cannery in Rivers Inlet, BC. I started working here six years ago, and I finally started filming more, and I decided to make these videos to share with you, to give you my perspective and point of view of working here. So I'm gonna take you along with me during my day, kind of show you around the building, um, introduce you to the staff, and kind of give you an idea of what it is that we do up here. It's definitely a lot different than any other fishing lodge that I've ever heard of. And anyone who comes and visits would definitely say the same. So yeah, join me on my summer adventure in Rivers Inlet at Good Hope Cannery. So the resort gets shut down through the winter. We have one winter watchman staying here. Everything gets put away. As you can see by the bare kitchen behind me, we've wrapped everything up and put it in different storage areas. So now is the time to start unpacking and reloading all the shelves up and get ready for another season. All right, it's 10 o'clock, means we gotta stop what we're doing and start concentrating on making lunch. There's four main parts of my job that I have to keep in mind all the time. Um, in the beginning of the year, there's another aspect to it of setting up. So taking everything out of storage, um, deep cleaning everything before, like deep cleaning all the surfaces before anything gets taken out. Um, organizing, reorganizing, getting rid of old stuff that may, might have um, expired through the winter. Um, and then I'm also cooking. Um, right now, just two meals a day. I have some breakfast foods prepped so that if anyone's hungry in the morning, they can have like their yogurt and granola. And there's toast and jam, peanut butter. So there's lots of options. Cereal. Then I do lunch and dinner. So then I also have like all the prep that goes along with that. And then the cleanup. Um, I have help with all the dishes, which is really nice. Um, but like cleaning all the surfaces of the kitchen is different than a small home kitchen. There's a lot more surfaces to clean. And I do use a lot of them during the day. Yeah, sweeping, mopping, um, again, large areas. So things just take a little bit more time. So I have to consider how I'm organizing my time during the day and like getting everything done. And then also um, planning for future meals. I place the order every two weeks right now. We have a barge that comes in uh, every two weeks and then further into the summer, it'll come weekly. So I put my orders in um, Monday and Tuesday. Um, the barge leaves from Port Hardy on Friday and then arrives to us on Sunday. So um, we, are, we then receive our food on Sunday and then the following day when we are fully stocked of food, I am then placing another order. Um, we do have multiple suppliers that we order from depending on, on what, we're, what we're planning. But right now we're only ordering from Save on Foods and Port Hardy. So it's kind of like an online order. They'll get it together for us, box it up. Um, it's then put on pallets and put in a refrigerator and or a freezer on the barge and then brought to us. So it's quite the, quite the process, um, but these are just things that I'm keeping in mind all the time. That's, that's why I'm here.
got a good handle on the kitchen organization. There's still lots of stuff left in Champ's room to bring out, but we're gonna keep it pretty simple. We have a crew coming in uh, next month in May to redo the flooring, which is really exciting because it's needed to be done for years now. And so that means we don't wanna set everything up in the kitchen because we're gonna be taking it down again when those guys come in to do that work. So today we're gonna work on the office a bit. We've been here a week already. Time has flown by. And we were actually supposed to have the owner and um, Chelsea Gardner joining us with the dogs. is over in the summer all of our dry storage gets moved into the walk-in cooler here. Terry's going to be helping me move everything out of here and back onto the shelves where it usually lives. I don't know if you could see it from here. But the plane is here! That means the owner, Tony, and my friend Chelsea are up here now. They've arrived. Oh. So yeah, the sound of the plane coming in is always an exciting thing. Most of us come down to the fuel dock here where the plane arrives and greet, greet and say goodbye to the guests that were here. So, so, so. <laughs> oh, my heart's just racing. Here they are. Oh, here's them dogs too. flying by. The owner has been here for a couple weeks now, um, Chelsea and the dogs, so I've been filming a lot more. There's a lot more cool stuff that's coming up in the next video. Um, the guys were doing some work on the beams underneath the boardwalk here, which is a really cool process of replacing them. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. It's all so helpful. I appreciate it so much. And the last video that I put out, 
um, Rivers Inlet, or sorry, Vancouver to Rivers Inlet. Um, had the most views I've ever seen on any of my videos. It's gotten me so excited about making more and sharing them all with you. So yeah, anything you have to say, um, if you dislike, that's fine too. Let me know what you think and um, please subscribe. Thank you so much. See you next time.